that answer, I'd say I think you are too. Now say, tell this to me. You tell me what a phony I am. Well, I'm... Say, Fritz, you're a phony. Well, phony's not quite the right word, but it's more like a, a show-off. A show-off. Like you know all the answers. Yeah. And I want you to be more human, and that doesn't seem very human to me. To know all the answers is not very human. Yeah, to right away find out how I'm kicking my feet and why am I doing like this. Why are you doing like that? Oh dear, I've got eyes. I can see you're kicking your feet. I don't need a uh, scientific computer to see that you're kicking your feet. What's big about that? You don't need to be wise to see that you're kicking your feet. I know, but it seems like you're trying to find some reason for it. I don't. It's your imagination. Okay. I know what I'd like from you. Can I tell you what I'd like from you? Yeah. I'd like you to be aware that I'm kicking my feet and to be aware that I'm giggling when I'm really nervous and accept it instead of putting me on the defense of having to explain it. I don't want to have to explain why I'm doing these things. Did I ask you to explain it? You said, why am I or what am I doing? No, well, I what am I doing, you said. That's right. Kicking your feet. I didn't ask you to explain it. It's your imagination. It's not this Fritz. It's the Fritz of your imagination. Big difference. Now do this again. Again. How do you feel now? I don't know. Playing stupid. I'm I, not playing stupid. I don't see, know. I the don't right know. Answer. This is playing stupid. You did something with your hair there. Is by any chance something in my hair what you object to? No. No. Okay. No, but I, uh, your your hair and your features go along with the, the feeling I had about you earlier. I, I had a feeling I could be afraid of you. <coughs> and you're the type of person that seems like you demand so much respect and so you're... Please pay for it. I demand so much respect. Play this for you just saw. Well, you know how smart I am. I know more about psychology than you do, Gloria. So anything I say, of course, is right. Can you say the same as Gloria? Something similar as Gloria. With the same act as Gloria. I demand respect because... I don't know. No, I don't. I identify it with my father, but not me. I don't feel I demand respect. You don't demand respect? No. Sure not. As a matter of fact, I'd like more. I'd like you to respect me more. No, you see? So you demand respect. All right, yes. Yes, as a matter of fact, if I could demand respect from you, I would. But do it. Who's preventing you except yourself? Because I feel if I get myself out on the corner, you're going to let me just drown. You're not going to help me one bit, and I know that I can't quite come up to standards with you. What should I do when you're in the corner? Encourage me to come out. Ah, oh, you don't have enough courage to come out by yourself. You need somebody to pull little Mamsel in distress out of a corner. Yes. So anytime you want somebody to uh, pay attention to you, call into a corner and wait till the rescuer comes. Yes, that's exactly what I'd like. And this is what I call phony. Pardon me? This is what I call phony. Why is it phony? I'm admitting to you what I am. How is that a phony? That is a phony because oh. it's a trick, it's a gimmick to call into a corner and wait there till somebody comes to your rescue. I'm admitting it. I know what I'm doing. I'm not being phony. I'm not pretending I'm so brave. That. I feel like you're saying unless I come out openly and stand on my own, I'm not a phony. Baloney. I'm just, right. as, just as real sitting in that corner as I am out here all by myself. But you're not sitting in that corner. Well, not now. And besides that, it's like passing judgment when you call me phony. I just hate that anyway. Now we're getting somewhere. 
I call anybody phony who puts in an act. And if you like somebody and you want to meet this person, to go to this person, tell him, I would like to meet you, I would call not phony. But if you coyishly go into that corner, <coughs> waiting to be rescued, this I call for. This I call for. And I off. still think you're judgmental. You know what I have a feeling? You've never felt this way in your life. You feel so secure that you don't have to feel. Anybody that does something like this, you're going to pass judgment on. They're being a phony. Well, I resent it. Good. Now play Fritz passing judgment. You are. You're sitting up there in your play big old Fritz. chair. I am Fritz. I pass judgment. Pass judgment on me now. I don't feel close to you at all, Dr. Pearls. I feel that's phony. I feel like you're playing one big game. Right. Sure, we're playing games, but in spite of the games, I think I've touched you now and then. I think I hurt you when I called you a phony. Well, of course you did. And I think I hit a bullseye. That's why you feel hurt. I don't know. All I know is when somebody, when I feel the way I feel with you right now, now I, it's uh, like you don't have feeling. Fine. Now, exaggerate this. What you just did. Oh, like That's it. Now, talk to me like I this. can't. I can't. I want to laugh. I want to, I'd like you to be younger than me so I could really scold you. How old must I be? My age, 30. Good, I'm 30 now. Imagine I'm 30. And now you're scolding. Okay, don't be so cocksure of yourself. Don't think you're so doggone smart. Don't act so proud because you've never been in the corner. I think you can be just as big a phony parading around like you're so damn smart and you know all the answers as much as me sitting in my corner. Wow. Oh, and I like the feeling of you being younger. Yeah. I'd like to really, I'd like to embarrass you. Yeah, embarrass me. Well, you, Tell me what you wouldn't get embarrassed. You seem unaffected. <laughs> Tell me, embarrass me. Tell me how odd, how ugly I am. <coughs> well, you don't look old and ugly, you look distinguished. And that gives you, that's all the more on your side. If you look so distinguished, then see. That's more on your side, too. Well, Gloria, can we say one thing? We had quite a good fight. No, I uh, know. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. No. I felt. I don't you think came, you're fighting with me. But I felt you came out quite a bit. Well, I'm mad at you. Wonderful. But you seem so detached. You don't even seem to care that I'm mad at you. <coughs> I feel like you're like? not recognizing me at all, Dr. Pearls. Not a bit. This is quite true. Our contact is much too superficial to be involved in caring. I care for you as far as, let's see, you're right now my client. I care for you as far as I like to, like an artist, bring something out which is hidden in you. This is as far as I care. Well, but I'd like you to, I'd like to feel that there's some, it's frustrating. If I were to leave you right now and not see you again, it would frustrate me to feel like there hadn't been more contact. I feel completely out of contact with you. Like I'm talking to the baby that doesn't understand me, or something like that. I don't feel like we're a bit in contact, and that, ooh, that frustrates me. That bothers me more than being angry with you. I'd rather we were angry and fought than to have no contact. Yeah, this reminds me of when my husband and I used to fight. He sits there and he listens to me, but he's not even aware of how much I hate him and how mad I am at him. I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather affect you. You to really hate me or something. And I feel like you're purposely staying out of contact with me. How should I be? Give me your fantasy. How, sh how could I share you my concern with you? I can't say in words. I know the feeling I'd, I'd see on you, but I can't say. It's just a feeling like... I don't know. It's like I want you to respect me more as a human being, that I've got feelings. Now we come back to the beginning. So you want respect. Yes, I do. I, I do. See. This is a different kind of respect than I meant the Never first time. Mind, but, but you want, you need respect. Yes. Yeah. I respect you so much as a human being that I refuse to accept the phony part of yourself and address myself to the genuine part. Right now, the last few minutes, you were wonderfully genuine. You were not playing anymore. I could see you were really hurting. 
Well, I don't feel I've got a right when I don't like somebody or I disagree with somebody's doing if if I should.